Windows 10 is still one of the most popular operating systems, and Microsoft will provide extended support for Windows 10 after the 14th of October 2025, but it won't be free. After support for Windows 10 ends, Microsoft will provide subscription-based updates through the Paid Extended Security Updates program. These will be available for up to three years, until October 2028. For the first time, both commercial users and consumers will be able to subscribe to the program at a yearly fee. This video explores whether the Windows 10 Extended Security Updates are worth it. The Windows 10 Extended Security Updates program only includes security updates. It doesn't include new features, quality updates, or design changes. Individuals can purchase a one-year subscription, but this is only for personal use and cannot be renewed. Users will be able to enroll in the new program closer to the end of support date. For businesses, the price per device doubles each year for a maximum of three years. The price increase is designed to encourage businesses to upgrade their devices to Windows 11. After subscribing, you will need to install and activate the license key using the command prompt. Microsoft has offered this paid program for past Windows versions, including Windows 7. The main difference is that Microsoft is also making these updates available to individuals. Microsoft has also announced that it will allow consumer users to pay for continued support on Windows 10 for one extra year, until October 2026. It only includes security updates and doesn't include any new features or technical support from Microsoft. For most home users, the Windows 10 extended security updates are not worth it unless there's a very good reason. It's mainly for businesses with legacy software or compliance needs. You should only consider it if you use your computer to manage sensitive data or engage in risky activities, and it's not recommended for casual users. It's not a long-term solution as you won't be supported after October 2026. Upgrading to Windows 11 is a better long-term option. Also, the cost can add up as the fee is for each computer, and it would probably be more cost-effective to purchase a refurbished or new PC that can run Windows 11. If you know what you're doing, you can consider installing Windows 11 on unsupported hardware through several workaround methods, but you will take on the responsibility for any compatibility and performance issues. Even without the Windows 10 extended security updates, you can continue to use Windows 10 safely and protect yourself against risks by following security practices, like not installing software from untrusted sources and not clicking on suspicious links. It's a myth that everyone who will continue to use Windows 10 after support ends needs to pay for extended updates. The Windows 10 extended security updates are mostly aimed at businesses that need time to move to Windows 11 or upgrade their systems. Some businesses cannot readily upgrade their systems to Windows 11 because they may run software which only works on Windows 10 and is not compatible with Windows 11. Upgrading to Windows 11 might require hardware upgrades, which can be very expensive. Due to the costs of upgrading, Microsoft offers businesses extended security updates, which allow them to spread those costs over one to three years and continue to receive security updates for a few more years after the official support ends. For businesses, the Windows 10 extended security updates are usually worth it. Security compliance is important for regulated industries like healthcare and finance, and they may require systems to have officially supported operating systems. The subscription-based program meets that requirement as it will allow businesses to continue using their Windows 10 systems without immediate security concerns. Overall, it's a temporary way for businesses to keep their Windows 10 systems running securely. If this video was useful for you, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you want to receive notifications whenever new content is posted, you can click on the bell icon after subscribing.